And the gold medal in Division I with a score of 74.30, 74.30, the Concord Blue Devils. Not really too sure where Melissa's off to, but I'm going to take, take a look at what some people think about going on the road with the Blue Devils. Here we go. How do you feel about heading down to Modesto tomorrow and then Arizona Wednesday? That's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Modesto, <laughs> but I'm not saying I hate it. I live, I'm from Union City myself, but Modesto's okay. Arizona? Not too happy about that. It should be pretty hot, it's huh? It's pretty hot over there. I hear we're in a dome or something, uh, inside uh, clinic. I think so. The that should be inside. Cool. I like clinics, how about you? Yeah, they're great. I've taken a nap in an end zone before <laughs> in the <a> clinic. <laughs> they're kind of cool because you get a long break. <laughs> yeah. We have a Canadian, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, come on over here. We have Jeff Waterbury, Euphonium. How'd, you, how'd it feel to do the show tonight? Uh, it was pretty good. It was nice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good to kind of get out of the cage and uh, yeah, unleash yourself. Yeah, the, that's nice short grass. It was good. Night. I heard bad things about this field, really? what it would be, but it didn't turn out to be so bad, yeah, was it? Yeah, it was pretty nice. I liked it. Yeah, it was not bad at all. And then we had on the road, no, no food truck tonight, kind of an interesting yeah, situation. Yeah, I, I'm pretty hungry right now. <laughs> Me too. I'm hoping our bus starts. I'd, I'd also like that. Right? This is the Hound. This is uh, primarily Hornline members ride this bus. Soul Azteca is the brand of bus and apparently the lights and the air conditioning and the motor do, just doesn't work. What nationality are you? I'm Cuban. Cuban. So we've heard from a Canadian, not in order, a Canadian, a Filipino person and a Cuban person. So really again the diversity here is fantastic. Now the bus is being jumped. Let's turn our attention to the Sol Azteca bus that's behind us. Please clear out. Yeah. Over this way. Come on. Come on. Could you take a moment of your time to tell us what exactly is happening right here? What exactly is happening yeah. is uh, they, what need, pray to, tell they is happening. need to jump start the bus. And this guy forgot the cables. Yeah, We're bummed. The yeah, this well, is the to the yeah. rescue. Wow. He forgot the cables. <laughs> so basically they hook it up. They hook the battery up to one end. And then the other side they hook it up to your tongue. Yeah, that's the new one. Do they way need to... a volunteer tongue? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. You ready, America? Right. I say we go on that new staff bus that you got to see in uh, one of the previous Blue Views. Yeah, where is that thing? I don't know, but I call the top bunk. It's in the dark, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the dark over there, I guess. But uh... Has your crew seen the new bus? I've never been on there. Oh, come on. Can we take a tour? Go? Go yeah. Go? All right, go. we're going to go see the staff bus. <laughs> Whoa! Welcome to the den of debauchery. Holy moly. Is this a skylight? Is there gambling in here? Uh, not at the moment, <laughs> but there is, yes. Anything wow. else, yes, we have the uh, disco lights. That uh, is amazing. Complete with disco lights, yes. There's a television right here. Satellite TV on the roll, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Walking back through this bus, it, I feel like I'm in my house right now, but I'm on a bus that travels you know, thousands of miles across the whole country over the summer. I think this bus even flies, I'm not sure. We're back in the sleeping quarters of the staff and you can see that there are three levels of beds. And I've heard that the middle level is actually the best because the top you could, you could roll out and fall and kind of clunk your head. The bottom one you have to actually get on the floor and roll into the bed, which doesn't seem too fun. Uh, I'd probably rather be on my bus that doesn't work than just sleep on the bottom. And then this is a dining area back here. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, we have a uh, plasma screen there, <laughs> VCR, DVD, and all that whatnot. And then it's hooked in with the satellite as well, so they can they can watch ESPN wow. as they say 24 hours a day, and that's always <laughs> good. This isn't an ad for ESPN, but no, you know we do. We Definitely do value our so, sports information. Yeah. yeah, practical and stylish. The staff bus is phenomenal. So, Ollie, if they'll have you, would you think you'll want to be a staff member? Yeah, I think, you know, if asked, I would join the Blue Devil staff as early as tomorrow. <laughs> I think that, that would be you do? spectacular. Well, I'd primarily help Van out, I think, and, you I'd know, all the help I could get. keep tempo for him if he's running a rehearsal, you know, conduct so he can just comment strictly. How's or, your gawk block technique? It's phenomenal. You know, phenomenal. I went to the Gawk Block Academy of the Pacific last summer in Japan. Do you, do you prefer the blue or the red? I prefer the blue. 
Thank you for joining us here on the staff bus where I will be sleeping tonight, unless they say otherwise, <laughs> which they probably will. Otherwise, so, otherwise. <laughs> all right, they Actually, said otherwise. I think you've been voted off the bus. So. I've been voted off the bus, and I guess I'm getting lost back to my bus that doesn't work right now. So thanks a lot, and see you later. <laughs>